Hello everyone, it is the Gaming Weasel back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering Hydroid and Hydroid Prime and uh, his build guide. Now, Hydroid is one of the frames that I haven't used in, I think, one of the longest times. He is a farming frame and a resource farming frame. And uh, now, I know a lot of you are going to say that you can definitely compare him with Korra, and yes... I am gonna sort of compare him, but not in 100% uh, the sense of the word. So, Hydroid Prime and Hydroid. What is his useful ability? So, his passive is going to be slam attacks, have a 50% chance to summon a tentacle for 15 seconds. Utterly useless, I have to say it. It is utterly useless. I never, I think in, in the... In the maybe, let's say, one month total time I play with this Warframe, I have never never activated this i'm pretty sure we have tempest barrage tidal surge undertow and tentacle swarm and this is the ability that you're going to need and that is going to be very very useful on hydroid now tidal te tempest uh, barrage does small damage it's, it's an area effect sort of i guess aoe type of thing tidal surge virtually what it does is you turn into water and or i guess into a wave and then you just go through enemies and Undertow is uh, sort of like a decent, I guess, survival ability, ability that you can use. And uh, I guess it turns you into a puddle, but you are invincible. And any enemy trapped into it will actually just, you know, get trapped and do uh, get, uh, get damaged over time. And also, if you activate Tentacle Swarm whilst in Undertow, you will do 200% more damage with your Tentacle Swarm. So, let's move on to the actual build. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best build, but honestly, this is the build that I like using. Uh, we have Corrosive Projection. We have Power Drift, just because let's have it, I guess. We have Transient Fortitude, Vitality, Prime Flow, Stretch, Natural Talent, Prime Continuity, Pilfering, Swarm, which is the one that you want if you have... Uh, if you want to get 100% chance at additional drops, this is very, very needed. And adaptation just because of that damage resistance if you're playing against higher tier enemies. Now, uh, natural talent is going to be very important because of his fourth ability, so you can cast it much, much faster because you can press it or hold it. If you press it, you're going to summon less tentacles, they're going to do less damage. If you hold it, you will summon more tentacles and they will do more damage. Now, do not rely on the actual damage of the tentacles because you do not... The, the tentacles don't have to kill the enemies. You have to kill the enemies or you can kill the enemies to get the extra drops. So it's not dependent if, if the tentacles kill the enemies, you're gonna get 100% of the drops if your team or, or you kill it with weapons, the enemies trapped inside of the swarm, you will get the 100% drops. So it's not dependent uh, on that. Now, uh, some of you guys might say that, uh, you know, why do I have this in this mod? Honestly, adaptation can be changed out for anything. Uh, maybe Augur Reach, maybe you can put... I don't know, maybe extra damage if you really want, maybe extra efficiency, uh, continuity, honestly that is mostly because of the tentacle swarm, because it is duration based, as it says here, I'm not quite sure, I mean it should be 100% correct because it's in the game, it says like that, so yeah, and uh, the efficiency pretty good, uh, even though I do not have streamline, uh, transient fortitude can be changed out as well, maybe you can put another mod inside of here, because damage is not that important, but it's sort of kind of, maybe just a tiny, tiny bit is, uh, be, be, um, sorry, have this in mind, that Tentacle Swarm does magnetic damage, so it's gonna be a little bit better against corpus enemies, which actually, oh, I have to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea why it does magnetic damage, but, yeah, I guess it's there. So, yeah, the mods that I wouldn't really prefer you change out is going to be Natural Talent, uh, Vitality, and Pilfering, Shang uh, Pilfering Swarm. These are the three that I honestly think that you shouldn't change out because survivability is good, uh, casting speeds even better on him, and loot, just loot for the Pilfering Swarm. So, uh, I'm going to show you my weapons. Uh, it's going to be very good if you have an AoE weapon, sort of like, let me just go from the top, the X-Ultra. The Archiplasma is going to be pretty good as well, if you're, especially if you're fighting Corpus enemies. 
then moving on we have the Cedo that's going to be pretty good as well we have the Ignis Wraith of course you can never forget the Ignis Wraith uh, you can use the Probosis Cernos as well you can use the Shadow you can use weapons such as the Kuva Brahma as well so yeah those are the weapons that I would prefer using my build looks like this if you haven't seen it before a uh, pretty basic build then moving on to my Kuva Nucor we have this pretty as I said, basic build. And then for my Cronin Prime, we have this uh, pretty basic build. Yeah, I'm just, I'm a, I'm just a basic man. I don't really uh, go in depth with it. Uh, I'm just going to quickly change out my, my skin to just match my Warframe here. And uh, yeah, so basically what you're going to do is collect some energy, of course. Let's say you collect it off the ground. going to summon level 50 enemies. And then what I'm going to do is... Just, you know, go here, turn into a puddle, and then try to trap as many enemies as I can. Hold my 4, summon my 4 on my 3, exit out of my 3, then select my Kuva Nucor, and apply status effects on these guys, and then just slice them and dice them. Pretty much, they're gonna get slapped around on the ground, so uh, they will be killed pretty easily with my melee weapon. I think there should be a couple enemies still up here, and... I think that's it. Is this guy alive? No, nobody's alive. That's it. And yeah, as you can see, a lot of drops. Now, no no loot, of course, because this is uh, the simulacrum. But uh, yeah, as you can see, a lot of weapon drops and a lot of uh, energy and health drops. So let's just summon level uh, 150 enemies if, if you really want to see it. So let's go to level 150. Simulate. We do have energy already. And let's go here. Summon that, hold my 4, summon my 4 on my 3, and as you can see, they will get trapped. But activate my Kuva Nucor, just to, you know, spread the status a little bit. And pretty much you're gonna do the same thing, it's just gonna take you a little bit longer because of the higher uh, level of enemies, and that is pretty much it. Uh, the Identical Swarm, as you can see, does, does more damage, so... Uh, that's that's going to be really good. You know, having that extra damage is is always good on uh, on the hydroid. So if you can definitely activate your what's it called, activate your uh, third on his fourth or or his fourth on his third. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe one ability that I would change out is maybe power drift instead of cunning. Uh, put cutting drift instead of uh, what's it called, mm, power drift. So. Yeah, I might actually change that out right now. Let me just see where is Cunning Drift. I always forget that I can just go into the... What's it called? Not the Augment, but this one. Yeah, there we go. And put Cunning Drift inside of here. And just to increase the range that little bit. And uh, yeah, that's going to be... You're just going to trap more enemies inside of your third and your fourth. But yeah, uh, that is going to be it mostly for Hydroid. Um, and wait, let me just answer. Sorry. I was in the middle of the recording video. I don't want to lose that end plan. But yeah, uh, Hydroid is more so a farming frame. He's pretty good at sort of like any level because you can always activate his, uh, activate his third ability and just go invincible. And the duration or sort of the energy drain on this uh, build is not that bad either. So you can always just like use that as a trump card and just, you know, quickly go inside that puddle and survive. Gain your shields passively and uh, yeah. Uh, mostly farming for him as I said. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, I will leave a like, a uh, comment, and subscribe if I were you. Because I try to make weekly content. A couple of videos coming up soon as well. And uh, yeah, it's been the Gaming Weasel over and out. Peace.